He put in a ton of thought process in this free to play team composition. And I will do it again. Another thing that contributed a lot is uh, this one. So you basically increase your attack for every 10% uh, HP that the enemy was missing. That's allowed me to do way more damage uh, when they are lower HP. And uh, this Unrecoverable, it helped a lot with various healers like uh, Undines. I know they were like Dark and Wind Undines, I believe, uh, that healed a lot. And this Unrecoverable helped uh, deal with them uh, quite a bit uh, because otherwise I would need a unit that actually gives undercoverable or, or provides a more consistent damage nuke uh, but with this I was able to just chip them away and not then let them heal at all and of course the biggest buff is uh, this one that you see uh, second to last on the screen Cliff and Knights uh, this is a level 4 buff so at level 1 it's only 7%, at level 2 it's 10%, but at level 3 and 4 is uh, what actually makes you unkillable. So at level 1 it's 7, at level 2 it's 10%, which is uh, still 100% only when you're dead. But at level 3 you get 12%, which actually makes you invincible when you are 10% HP or below. And at level 4, uh, luckily I got 4, this gets upgraded to 15%, meaning that whenever I drop to 30% HP, uh, I no longer take damage because the damage reduction uh, would stack up to 105%. So the only way I can take damage at all is through damage over time effects. But since I also had a cleanse whenever I use an ability, I believe, uh, I pretty much didn't get those dots at all. And for most of the runs, I used uh, the Wind Cleave. So that allowed me to use uh, that shield ability on skill 1, uh, which negated most of the damage over time so whenever they were applied and also allowed me to heal because that skill actually has some lifesteal. And yeah, with that, I was pretty much able to solo floor, most of floor 2, uh, most of floor 3, except for one elite stage, I believe. And floor 4, I needed uh, elite. I needed help from monsters in elite stages. I think I needed help in all of them. Uh, because I, for some, I was dying to dots. And for others, I was simply not having enough damage. There was one stage with applied endure to mini bosses, And that took like a minute to go get off. So, uh, yeah. There was simply no... Like, I didn't have issues dying. I had mostly issues not clearing our rooms in time. So for those I needed monsters, but for regular stages and for our uh, main bosses, I was able to solo without any problems. And yeah, this was another fun uh, Galarus video to make. Uh, I think the buffs weren't as OP as last time. I think last time those bombs plus 40% healing helped a lot, even though I was way squishier. But yeah, uh, we'll see what happens uh, with the next Galarus rotation. I'll try to pop another strategy if I manage to. Oh, by the way, this time I didn't even uh, reset at all. Uh, most of these runs were actually completed with handicaps that give me 180% more Agalagos tokens. So I was able to get like close to, what, 350, maybe 400,000 coins. So I just bought all of the uh, uh, weekly items. I bought the whole outfit and I was still left in uh, some profit. But yeah, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed and peace.